welcome to Wrestling Backlash. Yes, you saw that right in the title. Jade Cargill has officially departed AEW and has making the remarkable step across the wrestling divide. In a move that sent shockwaves through the world of professional wrestling, it was announced last week that the former undefeated TBS champion had put pen to paper on a multi-year deal with WWE. It makes her just the second major AEW star to jump across to the WWE after Cody Rhodes' high-profile move the year prior. And as she joins what she feels is the grandest stage, the wrestling community is abuzz with excitement. It's no secret as to how highly regarded her immense potential as a future star is seen, as major press runs for Cargill have already followed in the wake of the announcement. Stick around as we dive into the details of the big move, as well as what Jade herself and Triple H had to say. And we'll also reveal where you can expect to witness her debut sooner than you might think. In an interview with the Ringer Wrestling Podcast, Jade expressed her happiness in joining the company, stating, It feels great, you know. I feel like I was just in preparation for the grand stage. I feel like this was always the mission. I felt like the shoe fit. I felt like this was going to happen. Honestly, this is all expected, so I'm excited to be here. And it's really not surprising to hear Cargill express her long-standing desire to work with the WWE. She's long been vocal about her goal of inspiring the next generation of black wrestlers and youth in general, as well as making a significant mark in mainstream media. WWE WWE being the most prominent wrestling platform in the mainstream offers her the perfect canvas to turn her aspirations into reality. And now, with the recent Endeavor takeover of the company, the stage is likely set for even more opportunities to branch out than ever before. When the topic of dream matches arose during an interview with ESPN, she specifically addressed the possibility of facing Bianca Belair. With her standard unwavering confidence, Cargill labeled it a WrestleMania main event. I am looking forward to it, and it's definitely a WrestleMania main event, she affirmed. That's something that will have people glued to television screens, something that will have people filling stadiums. It's a dream match, and I think people will show up and show out for that one. Indeed, the prospect of Jade Cargill stepping into the ring with Bianca Belair is more than just a dream match. It's a bout that holds the potential to fulfill Cargill's aspirations of inspiring a generation of black superstars. This potential main event at WrestleMania would mark a significant moment in WWE history, as it would be the second time that two black superstars headlined the grandest stage of them all since Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks made history at WrestleMania 37. It'd also be a larger-than-life contest between two phenomenal athletes with great looks and undeniable star power that could garner major interest. When asked if there was a bidding war or if it was a hard decision to leave AEW, Cargill said this, I want to create a legacy, she said. I want to be in the Hall of Fame. I want to wrestle with the best women in the world. I mean, there's no grander stage than this stage. The opportunities are endless for this company. It's a no-brainer. It was very welcoming. I didn't have any second thoughts about it at all. It was just the easy choice. It wasn't easy, but it was easy. I want to work with the amazing women who are holding the main belts. That's one of the things that I really wanted to do. A couple of them have reached out to me and wished that they would have had that match, and I wish so as well. I could have gone on the mic with a lot of those ladies, but TV time is short and we have to work with what we got. This was notoriously one of the main gripes many fans and critics alike had on Cargill's booking during her time in AEW that while she wasn't losing, she had gone as far as she could down the route of being an undefeated TBS champion, and that not moving on from her reign was actually hindering her progress. Cargill was also asked whether she felt she had hit her ceiling in AEW. I wouldn't say it was a ceiling. I would just say that the route I wanted to take was different, she responded. And the route that I wanted to embark on was different, and I didn't see over there where I could have did it. The only way I could do it was by coming to the WWE Universe. So I bet on myself, and I made the best decision by coming here. Tony Khan revealed during the AEW Wrestle Dream post-event press conference that he had made a substantial offer, and that he believed it to be fair, and stated that he was surprised when Jade asked for an even larger offer. Despite increasing his offer to a level higher than her initial request, they couldn't reach an agreement. And at that point, he wanted to ensure that she had the best possible exit from AEW. Khan also praised Jade, describing her as a valuable part of AEW, and emphasized that she was always welcome back. It shouldn't be understated that Tony Khan and All Elite Wrestling deserve a lot of credit in this too. Regardless of your perspective on how Jade Cargill's booking was handled in AEW, one thing remains undeniable. Her three-year tenure with the company has transformed her 
into a bonafide star. From her in-ring debut teamed up with NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal to a 60-0 undefeated streak in title reign until her last two matches, Cargill was no doubt valued and protected despite her inexperience within the industry. She already had the look and undisputed and unapologetic aura of a megastar. And granted, she's still green when it comes to actually wrestling, but still a world of difference away from where she would have started in the WWE had she signed there following her 2019 tryout at the Performance Center. The same can be said financially as well. In many ways, it's been the perfect stomping ground to introduce her to the industry that she's gotten her feet wet at at a higher level than many ever even grace. And now she's ready to step up to a huge mainstream platform where the sky is truly the limit for her. WWE fans got their first glimpse of Jade on a recent episode of SmackDown, where she was formally introduced in a new segment hyping her signing, sharing clips of her signing video and arrival at the Performance Center, which have been viewed over 20 million times across social media. It's worth noting that she'll also be able to remain Jade Cargill, amid speculation that she'd have to change her name as many others to sign with WWE from other companies have in the past. Corey Graves ended the segment with a stern message stating, there is a storm coming to the women's division. Trust me when I say Jade is a game changer. This echoes Triple H's introduction to Jade via social media, referring to her as a dominant athlete who's here to change the game. Reports from Dave Meltzer suggest that WWE has been working on main roster creative plans for Jade for several weeks now. And if this is anything to go by, it feels like she's set to make a major impact in the near future. But when and where specifically? Mike Johnson of PW Insider is currently reporting that Jade is currently expected to be part of the Raw brand. And it seems all but confirmed after Cargill live tweeted the following during Raw this week, searching for her first victim. So, fans, who should be my first victim? Hashtag WWE Raw. Cause you all know, Jade Cargill is big, big on charity. Hashtag WWE Raw. Just standing next to me is a blessing. So let me help you out. My first victim. Hashtag WWE Raw. On top of that, PWInsider.com have also reported that Jay Cargill is slated to appear in Indianapolis at WWE Fastlane, meaning that we may just be seeing that bitch sooner rather than later. Jay Cargill's shocking move from AEW to the WWE is one that absolutely has the potential to shake things up massively going forward, but all in all makes perfect sense. Together, Jade and the WWE fit perfectly. She has a superstar look, a commanding on-screen presence, and ambitions that go beyond just the wrestling landscape. How it impacts AEW and whether it paves the way for others to follow remains to be seen. But either way, her arrival in WWE opens up a world of exciting possibilities, and we're in for an exhilarating ride as we witness Jade's journey unfold.